Now, with the backdrop of the northeast coastline, a soundtrack from Sam Fender and a stellar cast, the new crime thriller Jack Daw has all the ingredients to be a British classic. So, the thriller follows the story of Jack Dawson, the former motocross champion, army veteran, returns to Teesside to care for his brother after their mother dies. Have a look. Hi, hi, lad. Knew you'd be in touch with your old pal, Silas. I recommend you see some of the sights whilst you're here. And Jack, let's just leave our old baggage at the door. No dramas. Are you ready, Jackie? Uh, we're joined now by two of the film stars, Oliver Jackson Cohen and Jenna Coleman. Very good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Oliver, you've got very big feet. Huge feet. And I, I understand that you had to learn how to ride the motorbike for the production. Yes. We'd Were the feet huge... an issue? Was it a problem on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to get a stunt double to do the feet. Um, <laughs> Just yes, the feet. Yes, learning to ride a motorbike. Uh, and they called me, like, before we started, and they said, can you, can you ride a bike? And I said, well, like, I can ride like a, like a push, push bike, so it's going to be the same thing. And, uh, and then quickly learnt that. It's very different. It's very different. Isn't very the different. rule in acting that if you're going for a role, you just say yes, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, can exactly. you paraglide? <laughs> yes. Is that right, Jenny? You just say you can do it and then deal with it afterwards. Yeah, that, that's the rule, but there's always consequences. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, as we've learned. As did you also have it. to learn? I mean, I, I did not really have to do anything other than kind of stand looking like I knew what to do with a bike. OK. Uh, I had a couple of lessons, but, um, yeah, let's just say none of it is me riding. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking through the film then, we saw from the trial there how adrenaline fueled it is, how pumped it is. How does the story evolve? Ollie? Uh, yeah, wow. Um, it's, uh, so it's about a man who comes home to look after his brother following their mother's death and uh, agrees to pick up this mysterious package for money. It goes wrong and his brother goes missing, so he sort of heads out into the night to face all the things he's been running from in his past and um, comes across... His former lover. His former okay. lover, His Jenna. former sweetheart, Bo. <laughs> but it is, it's all, it's all kind of continuous action. It all covers... Um, and it's over one night. It's, it's all over, over one, one yeah. night, yeah. There was a really good um, a piece, I think, described it as like a chaotic nighttime odyssey. That's but it right. is, it's very adrenaline-fueled. like fueled. It's quite heightened, flamboyant in places. Um, it kind of sits in between a lot of, like, genres. OK. And I don't know, Oliver, whether it's helpful or unhelpful, but you spend a lot of the film inside a motorbike helmet. I do. I mean, almost all of the film, basically, you've got a helmet on. Pretty much. Is it, Is it helpful? helpful if you get your lines wrong? <laughs> <laughs> just pick I it actually... Oh, I did the whole thing in ADR. <laughs> yeah, none of it. I never learnt a line. You just have to work really Acting hard with yeah. the eyes. Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> the eyes are doing all the work. But it is true, isn't it? Because you're, you're either on the motorbike or yeah. doing your dialogue... Yeah. With the helmet still on. Yeah. Trying to light, because the whole thing, we shot the whole, pretty much the whole film at night. Um, so also trying to see your eyes in, at night, in a helmet was a nightmare. So they had <laughs> to have these specific lights that would shoot oh. light into, it's just so you could see something and not just like a round head. <laughs> just, not just bobbing around. Just bobbing around. Do you know what, as soon as you both walked in, my mind was taken to Wilderness, the Prime series that you both starred in together. <laughs> and then that is a very different backdrop to Wilderness, which yeah. is the Canadian <laughs> Wilderness. And then it was just a few weeks turnaround before filming that. Yeah, yeah. we both found ourselves with very different costumes, different hair, yeah. different, different accents. accents. Different <laughs> accents. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, very different setting. Um, <laughs> it was great, though. There's a, there's a picture that Jenna sent me that, that is like the first day of Wilderness, and we're so sort of prim and... Fresh. Like tans, you know what I mean? And then we end in sort of January. Like, just like really yeah. washed up, me for like having just come out the North Sea. And cold. <laughs> yeah, and cold. Gothic, kind of like exhausted <laughs> January, yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> I think, what, what's the phrase you use for the, the setting for this? Is it gritty? Is that the right word? Because it is gritty, isn't it? The, this, this production. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like that word is, is, is sort of used. There, it's quite a hard film to sort of pinpoint and, and sort of say what it is. I feel like what you said about sort of chaotic odysseys, unlike anything I've ever seen. I mean, the story the story's like really familiar, but I think what Jamie Charles, who wrote and directed it, he, he's done something 
so spectacular with sort of taking a familiar story and making it so incredibly cinematic and yeah it's, it's got sort like of a nod to the like 80s 90s cinema and i think it, it was really important that it wasn't like a kitchen sink drama so it's, it's gritty but also on quite a, a cinematic scale yeah and makes the most of the setting in the northeast yeah 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 yeah, we, I mean, we shot the whole thing in the northeast as well, so it was... Um, yeah. And what about the... the um, I, I almost say this, you are actors, so what you do is you act. So doing accents is part of acting. But you were in Teesside last night, weren't you, for the premiere? Right. <laughs> I imagine there are a lot of people there thinking, have they got the accents right? We so quickly left after the screening <laughs> to avoid any, any criticism. <laughs> Or potentially maybe one compliment, but no, no. How? Let's put your Mon you Mancunian in it. I am. Okay, and I am a thoroughbred Manx, so I will be judging you on Please that. Please do. Accent. Please <laughs> do. <laughs> and what research went into doing that? We well, we we worked actually. With, we are uh, a, a dialect coach, a brilliant dialect coach who helped us. It was the film came together so quickly, though. I mean, after f finishing Wilderness, it was sort of four weeks, and then we were on set. So it was quite. The script was still being written and developed, so it was, it was a sort of mad dash to get accents and giant feet and helmet. <laughs> and you know Jenny, I, mean? I should have mentioned this. I? I just happened to notice when you sat down. <laughs> Spectacularly big feet. Anyway, we'll leave that one there. Nice to see you both this morning. Thank you very much. Thank Sadly, you. For you both, we've run out of time to test your accent. So <laughs> Sadly, I'm going to judge it on the film. But thank you very much. Um, you. you can watch thank Jack Dorr in cinemas from tomorrow.